경기장에 입장한 선수를 소개하겠습니다. 이번 비보제 해성같이 등장한 브레이카! 그의 상대는 창철이가 금강! 과연 금강은 지난 패배를 스프렛고 Yeah, they're bringing back the Annika trailer. 최고의 자리에 오를 수 있을까요? What is the story behind Annika at all anyway? Like, why are we even here? Just like a fighting tournament? I, I never understood this. Oh, wow. Damn, a lot of those skills look different. It's a way introduction arc, I know that. So these look different. The anime, or actually, I haven't seen a new scrapper skills. They look different now or no? They always show all new eight skills. So these are the new eight. Okay. So I'll say that kind of looks like one of the skills I've seen before. Is that new though? It's like an uppercut skill. D is death rattle. That's what I was going to say. I feel like they should have filmed this not in here. Even though it's cool story wise, it's like it looks, this arena is so old that it just looks so old. Like everything looks so old. Well, let me move this out of your guys' way. It's lore related to the engraving, I see. It does look like Akuma. Percent synergy, I guess. Dude, the uppercut skill is kind of cool. What is that? It's like an uppercut. Forty second cooldown. Wait. Where? Oh my god! It has a forty second cooldown. What? Does it just do insane damage or something? Holy shit! I didn't see that. He's like a big fist too. It looks like a, it looks like the One Punch Man kind of like, like there's a scene in One Punch Man where like he where they he throws the punch and it's like, and it's like a huge fist. Riot Games logo, kinda yeah. That's normal for Shock, assuming he doesn't have CD gems. The uppercut looks cool though. Yeah, I feel like they should have filmed it in a higher res place, but... Fuck, I wish... Whoa! There's a parry system? Is it like war, like BDO, like blocking? Or is it more like a shield you just apply? That you just run around with like a bozo? It's just a shield, I think. It looks like it lasts one second. Where, where, where? 
So it's your identity that you apply? Is this, is it is your identity? Damn, bro. X gives you a button. That's fucking sick. Damn. Damn, dude. That's pretty cool. That I guess that's how they plan to help you deal with a lot of the head attacks. But it doesn't last very long, right? I wish they would have let it li stay longer. Yeah, it lasts one second. Sorry, one more time. What is this skill? Like, like I, I, I don't understand. Is it like... This is like, like, what is this skill? Just like, who's it? Like, 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 who's gonna stand? I hope this does insane damage. This is like, like, Legalia would say, like, this class is for like a disabled person or something. Cause like, what boss is gonna fucking stand there and just not move? Like, who's gonna stand there and just like? Ah, I mean, that's fucking cool, though. If you could, I want, dude, I, like, I imagine if you could do it and it's just shooting out fucking millions everywhere, that'd be pretty sick, right? If you can, if you can get it to work, it'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like beat him up. No, I'm sure there's opportunities that you can land a full one. It's just, it has a taunt. Yeah, but if the boss is not tauntable, then. But I mean, maybe there's like some mechs where you know he's just, I don't know. That's fucking cool, though. I think I would still want to play the non position. We'll see, though. I hope they've balanced it where the non-positional one is not stronger than the head attack one. Which could also be likely where the non-positional one is just fucking also just better, right? I mean, it's actually just sad when you look at like regular Scrapper. <laughs> I feel like Scrapper's kind of got fucked, right? Because not only like, okay, they got, they're really strong, right? So they didn't get fucked, but it's like. All right, thank you, bro. Welcome back, man. What is the skin? Probably the launch skin. Legendary? No, I think the legendary is the other one. I, I like the fucking other one, dude. This one's kind of whatever. You call legendary, you think so? I like um, this one. This one goes fucking hard. Let's be honest, most breakers are gonna be shirtless anyway. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be shirtless. I didn't really get a good idea of the first part. So the first part, was that them explaining the first? This is the non-positional engraving. Is that what this is? Are you guys looking at me English translated? Dance that pierces the heavens of Fist King. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a fist king angle. Boy. So this is like taijutsu, I guess, or I don't know. Fist king, uh, dura fist king posture duration increased by five seconds. Fist this is, I mean, I, I was just saying, oh wow, I was so thoughtful of this guy to translate the video for us. I mean, this is just straight up from Google. Right? Like, this is my using my phone. Fist King 12 form. Fi falling fire skill is added and can be used during Fist King posture. So, it what does it give us though? Is this like Taijutsu, I guess? Oh? Oh! Wait, dude, Scrapper got fucked! They got like active skills and shit. What did Scrapper get? They got haste and what else? The haste and what else? Wait, Scrapper has a fart? What's the fart? I mean, I heard it's broken though. Damn. 
I don't, you, you are you guys are really strong, yeah. So both hides get the buff the ponies in here. Yeah, it's the reverse slayer treatment. Damn. So what does the Z skill do though? I don't understand. So what does the engraving even do? Fist King posture duration increased by five seconds. Fist King form like what does it even do? What does Fist King form even do? We don't know. Fist King posture duration increased by five seconds. Fist King 12 form is added. Okay, so that's the that's the thing, but what is the there's gotta be some stats, right? This Z has got to do decent damage because it's a fucking another 40 second cooldown. Does this thing just do giga damn, you guys think, or what? Because it's a 40 second cooldown. Is this shit gonna be like a one punch man kind of class? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Are we looking at like, you know, scrap, Scrapper is kind of like, you know, fast and shit? Is this class gonna be like fucking slapping out bills and shit? That's gonna be sick though, man. I actually cannot wait to watch fucking the boys empty their bank account and then I get to see if it's dog shit before I make my purchase. <laughs> it's like I get to watch. I feel like I get to <laughs> I get to sit there and just wait to see if I spend all their shit. I'm like, mm, looks pretty good. I guess I'll buy this. According to uh, Saint Tone, the um, the first one you're watching is gonna be the spec base build. So this will be spec based and the red form is going to be crit based because of multiple pungents based off crit according to Foz. I guess we'll find out. Oh, that's true. I can go. Dude, that's the best part chat is what I'll get to go do is go downstairs and then just take it for a spin, you know, like, you know, I'm going to go downstairs and go give it a little wheel. And not only is it. Not, and it's not going to be a fucking or a fucking Toyota. It's going to be a fucking, you know what I mean? It's going to be a fucking crazy one too. I'm going to go down there. It's going to be fucking, it's going to be juiced up too. I'm going to go, holy. I'll let you guys know what's going on though. I'll let you know if it's real for real. Cause I'm not going to have any, it's not my money, you know, like, yeah, this shit's dog shit. <laughs> this shit's dog shit. I'm pretty excited. I feel like um, it's going to be fun. There's a lot of cool stuff. To, like, it's finally back to KR. I feel like having a lot of cool shit to do, which just means that the the next like year of the game has got a lot of cool stuff going on. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Sorry for spamming, but I have to name. I have to beg you for the hip breaker. <laughs> I mean, you gotta save that for sure. Save me that for sure. Uh, Self-defense fighting spirit path of Sur Sura specific effects can be used by pressing. Okay, whatever. I mean, this is what he's saying. They just literally. This is literally the most useless translation ever. Self-defense fighting. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a counter. So you get a a counter. Okay. So the D just used all of his. So I'm assuming D is just a lot of damage, used all of his gauge. And then he activates it. So his Z is a taunt, right? Fist King posture, Sura gains the Sura effect, changing its basic attack to Sura basic attack. Sura basic attack deals damage based on critical hit rate. Okay. So you, I, I guess you want crit. Wait, what is C though, chat? What is C though? Why is he saying C? Oh, so you just auto attack. So that's, he's literally auto attacking right now. So when you activate your gauge, it literally turns your auto attack into a machine gun. That's pretty fucking cool. Do you think it does any damage or you, what do you guys think though? Is it going to be Z DPS or just do insane damage? This saint tell you which one he's going to go for. Is he going with the, this one or is he going to go, he's gonna go with this one, right? I mean, I hope it's not dog shit. That's fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. That actually is pretty unique. I feel like they actually went above and beyond for this gender unlock. Like most gender unlocks feel kind of similar. I feel like this one, they kind of went, they, they kind of went a little bit more crazy.